Shout out to gang, what's happening man? Back at it again with another video. Hey man, if this is your first time tuning in to the channel, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Turn it, hold up. <laughs> I said smash that subscribe button. Let's start this over. 392 gang, what's happening man? Back at it again with another video. Say man, hey look, if you just not tuning in, Make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Yes, yeah, sir. Turn that bell on. That way you get notified every time I drop a new video, man. Hey, and don't forget to watch them ads, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Y'all go ahead and help me get this channel growing, man. We're going to keep taking over the whole 2020, man. But look, as y'all can see from the title and thumbnail of the video, man, I finally got my tuner. Oh, hold on. I got to change my battery. Battery going there. Hold on. All right, man. Back like I never left. So, like I was saying. I finally ordered my tuner, man, for the Scat Pack, man. And I did order the Diablo Sport iTunes i3 Platinum. Now, why did I order that one? Now, they had this one and they had the Trinity. Now, they both do the same thing. You know, you can data log, you can download email tunes, remote tunes. You can change your wide open throttle settings, uh, settings for if you get the, the 180 thermostat. All that they both do the same thing. The only difference is um between this one and the Trinity is the interface. Alright, and basically with the Diablo Trinity tune, uh the interface is just like a bigger screen. You can mount it on your window or whatever, whatever. Now those of you who have cell phones, you got the little cell phone uh window mount or whatever. Oh mm, call me bro. I place. What? Scamming. Um, but anyway, yo, bro, like you can mount this one too, actually. But um, and you know, with the with the Trinity, yeah, it got little little gauges on there, like uh, like the freaking your speedometer, your boost pressure, uh, zero to sixty times tree, like you know, everything that I already have on my SRT pages. So I will only be paying an uh, extra two hundred dollars just for a different interface that I can mount. But I already got the same pages on my SRT page that show the exact same thing: the the boost pressure, the speedometer, of course, the zero to sixty timers, the you know the horsepower, the torque. I got all that on my car already. So I just me personally, that's just my personal preference. But if you want that, get there. But I just felt like I wasn't gonna spend an extra two hundred dollars just to have a screen to display something I can literally already display on my car already. This is the tuner, man. Um, this is the handheld i3 Platinum tuner from Diablo. Uh, it comes attached with the little um, the data cord that you plug into your OBD2 port. Um, now they do make an adapter kit for those of us who are running a taser. Uh, if you wanna keep your taser in your OBD2 port, it comes with a little adapter kit where you can plug this up and you can plug your taser up and then plug the cord into the OBD2 port and then that way you can have both of them. Or for those of you who have a 2018 and up uh scat packs and chargers, I mean chargers and challengers, you probably have to get the um the adapter kit plug that you got to run in the trunk. So you can always make that an option too. Now when you plug it up to the computer, um of course the um Diablo programmer uh screen is gonna pop up. So now I'm just going to wait for that to turn on and for my computer to read it. Once my computer reads it, then I'm going to go ahead and download the updates. So it's going to ask you, you know, hey, Diablo iTunes designed to increase vehicle performance and fuel economy. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Do you agree? Yes. All right. So now it's going to bring you to like the little tune vehicle scan tool, yada, yada. All right. And at that point, what you want to do is, uh, let me see. Go down, so let me back up. So go to settings. Once you go to settings, you're gonna go down to advanced options. Then you're gonna go to check for updates. Uh, your unit can be updated via Wi-Fi. Go to, okay, so I gotta connect the Wi-Fi first. What you do is you hit settings. You go to Wi-Fi configuration. Wi-Fi setup. All right, now I brought my Wi-Fi up, so I'm gonna click on my Wi-Fi now. Alright, so now it's gonna ask you to uh, put in your Wi Fi password. Alright, it's gonna tell you the connection is successful. Do you want to continue? 
So it says, do you want to check for updates? Then obviously you're going to hit yes. All right, so first thing first, man. Um, once you plug the tuner up to the computer, you're going to see this screen right here pop up. And this is going to be your i3. So in order to get to that, you just go to your computer. Then you scroll down. And then you see i3. Click on that. Go to updater. And if you have a Mac or a Windows. Now I got a Mac too. But I don't like downloading stuff on my Mac. My Mac is strictly for like editing videos and professional purposes. Yada yada. But when uh, I use my Windows computer. A.K.A. this one. Like my little toy computer. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click on Windows. And then you just double click that. And then it's going to download the installer. Alright. Once the installer is downloaded. You're going to see this ignition screen pop up. Once this ignition screen pop up, just I agree to the license terms and then install. Um, it's going to ask you, do you want to do it? Yeah, yeah. All right, now it's doing it. So I'm going to let that go ahead and load and uh, I'll be back when it's done. All right, so, you know, after you click install and finish and everything, all the drivers have been loaded. It's going to do all that. And now uh, uh, it's going to ask you, do you want to install the device software? All this that's asking you, all this has to do with the tune. All these are updated drivers and everything like that. So if it comes up and anything highly performance or anything like that, then go ahead and accept it and, and install it. All right, so now this screen is going to come up. Updates are available. Would you like to download and install? Of course, you're going to hit yes. Now it's going to update, so I don't know how long it's going to take. So I'm going to just leave it right here, let it update, and then be back when it's like almost all right, right at done. All right, now after everything is installed, you're going to get this message that you know that all the updates have been installed. And then you're just going to hit continue, and then it's going to reboot. And uh, once it reboots, you should be all good to go. My PCM finally came. So, Diablo finally sent my unlocked PCM. Um, now I can go ahead and put the tune in, man. But this is the unlocked PCM. Alright, so uh, I'm going to take my PC on this in my car, take that one out, put this one in, um, and then right here is just like, you know what I'm saying, some little instructions on, you know, all this before, so you can put it in, whatever, so they got like, you know, how to remove the PC on, put it in, how to turn, you know what I'm saying, how to do the tune and all that, so. So, man, first thing you want to go ahead and do is, uh, Disconnect the negative battery terminal. I already got it loosened up, so just uh go ahead and take that off. Alright, so um <clears throat> it's gonna be some little rivets. It's gonna be one right here, one right here, one right here, one right here. But as y'all can see, I already took them out. So only thing you're gonna do is remove this. Just put that up there somewhere, and then this just gonna pop out. Alright, so when you get this lifted up, that's your PCM right here. So, it's going to be a bolt right here. Alright, you can either take this off, or you can loosen these two bolts right here. Update. That little bracket I was talking about, you will have to end up taking this off, just so you can slide it up. I thought you can just slide it back. So, you're going to have to take this off. This right here is like a 5 8 I think. And those two bolts on the on the PCM are 10 millimeter bolts. So, you got two 10 millimeter bolts and one 5 8 uh, let me see. I think it's a final. Make sure I tell y'all the right socket size. Let's see. It is a. Oh my bad. A half. It's a half. So you get you a half socket. Take the big bolt and then two tens. So now once that comes up, all you gotta do is you look down there. It's like some little plugs. One and two, and they color coded, so you know which is which. Take those off and pull the PCM out. So this is the factory PCM. And this is my new unlock PCM. They look exactly alike, but you can tell it's the factory one because it got serial number and everything on there for the car, VIN number, all that. So this the one that's going in. It's the unlock one. So you reverse the steps, and like I said, the connections they're color coded, so you know what plugs into what. Just plug those back up, bolt it back down, put it back in there, and then just. Start it up and see if everything goes. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in there. We're gonna get everything going. Alright, so I put the PC on man. Now 
what you have to do is uh, go ahead and put the battery terminal back on. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so now let's just do what the instructions say. I uh, removed the negative battery terminal, did that, we resume, blah, 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 blah. All right, now turn the ignition to the run position. Uh, hit the start button twice, so one, two. All right, keep the car on for five seconds. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right, once you do that, turn the addition to the off position. The key should be in lock position, and the start button should have lock. All right, so I think we're good. So let's go ahead and start the car. just one real quick thing let me go ahead and say this now if you have a taser if your vehicle is tased then make sure that you unmarry your taser first so unmarry the taser and then start tuning so i'm gonna unmarry my taser and then i'm gonna tune all right once the taser is unmarried I'm gonna go ahead and take the taser out put that right there then you're gonna plug this up to the obd2 port where the taser was if i can find it there we go all right. Once that's in there, boom, it's gonna come on. All right. So now, uh, we went on to focus. All right. So the only thing you're gonna do now is you go to tune vehicle. Please ensure the key is in the run position, but do not start the engine. All right. So boom, put it in the run position. All right. Continue. All right, so when this screen pops up, you have two options. Um, you got your easy tune, and then you can go to advanced tune. I'm going to click on advanced tune. Now, when you go to tune select, all right, you can go to install standard tune. Now, you got your, uh, you got your modified stock tune. Jammer, Jammer, CAI tune, whatever that is. 91 Octane tune. But if you click on Diablo tune, I verify with Diablo, the 93 Octane tune is the Diablo tune. So, boom, the Diablo tune is designed to blah, 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 blah. You select the tune, hit yes. Let me just say this. So, with what I just did, the advanced tune, you can go in and you can tune your car how you want it with that 93 Octane tune. You can put certain things where of course, I'm not going to show y'all exactly what I did to my car as far as what parameters I set for what. But that's the idea. So, I'm going to be back once I get through doing everything and the tuning is complete. Also, before your uh, tuner gets to tuning, it will get a backup of your stock tune. So, that's what it's going to do first. It's going to read the PCM, get a backup of your stock tune, and then it's going to apply the modified tune. So, my camera died, man. So, I had to switch to my phone, man. But, um... I just got done, you know, setting my my uh, parameters on my tune, doing my own little custom tune, man. And as you can see, it says now tuning is complete. You may unplug the tool and enjoy driving your vehicle or tap continue to reboot. So, uh, yeah, man, that's going to be the end of this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. The next video I post is going to be me driving it for the first time and... Letting y'all know the differences is uh, the differences of uh you know from that from stock to tune. So uh yeah man. Hope y'all enjoy it. And we out.